guys, Landon here, and I'm just here to show you how you can click Forgot Password and the steps you need to take to change your password completely with Moby Zen. So to get started, let's say you just downloaded Moby Zen because you're downloading the Moby Zen for Samsung on your Samsung device because you realize there's a new app you need to use, or you did have it on your device before, but for some reason you uninstalled it and now you're reinstalling it. So I just quickly uninstalled it and reinstalled it. So I'm going to open it up and you get this screen. You click start. You're going to select the email for your account. So there's already an existing account with this email. So I'm going to select it and now you have to enter your password. But let's say you haven't used Moby's in a month and you for some reason can't remember your password. So you type a bunch of things in here and it keeps saying wrong and all that. So right under here in gray, it says, I forgot my password. You're gonna click that, and by clicking next, it means that they're gonna send an email to your registered email on your device, which is also your MobyZen email. So you click next. And now you have this message that an email's been sent that you can reset your password, and you have two hours to do so. So I recommend you just do it right away. I'm gonna click okay. We'll get back to this, and I'm gonna go to my email. Gmail right there. Okay. And you have a message from MobyZen saying that you have requested to reset your password. If you get this email and you have not requested, then maybe you should email us at MobyZen help at oursupport.com and we'll help you out with that because that's not good. So you're going to click password reset and it'll take you to a website and you can enter a new password and then you have to re-enter it just to make sure. Just remember that this password must be at least six characters long. It doesn't have to be only six characters long. It can be more and it can have letters and numbers. You can put a symbol in it, but it'll be fine if it's just letters and numbers. So I'll put my password in. So now your password's in set. I know a mistake a lot of you have been doing is just going to MobyZen.com now and logging in, but you can't log in because you haven't logged into MobyZen on your device yet. So your password's changed and you're gonna, on your device, because if you're doing this with a computer or not, you're gonna open the MobyZen app again. And here, where you just got stuck before is where you put your new password. So, put my new password and click next. Just gonna take a second. Now you can go through the tutorial and you have to click start MobyZen and now you're set to go. And that's it, thanks for watching.